What up? Oh my gosh, you guys. So I just wanted to put out there in the midst of all the frustration that I am experiencing with trying to upload YouTube videos consistently. Well, okay, no, 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 not YouTube videos in general, but these travel videos have been complicated to edit and to upload. I did not know people spent so much energy, but I feel like I'm spending more than people typically do because I'm using my phone to record. And I'm also using a laptop that was just not ready for this, I guess. But I also don't have a good editing program either. So I'm kind of at a disadvantage right now. So I'm doing my best. But I'm trying to do other things and not just let this YouTube thing consume my life. But what I'm doing, what's the most exciting for me to do right now, amidst all the things that I'm doing, trying to get in regular exercise, learning new recipes, reading a book, I'm reading a book, um, trying to organize and decorate and, um, just get together my new apartment. I'm learning sign language, you guys. And at that, I am learning for free and it has been so fun. Like I've known some signs since like a really long time ago. Like I think one of the first things that I was exposed to and learned was, um, the alphabet. So I can definitely do the alphabet front to back. No problem. Um, and I learned some other random things, um, like what had I learned? Things like maybe bathroom, you know, toilet, um, stop again, like really random words and stuff like that. But now I'm learning legitimate things <laughs> that are actually helpful for conversations, like how to say hello and nice to meet you or whatever. And I'm just, I'm just getting into like actually understanding the syntax of it. I did do a course that kind of costed some money over um, like a month or so on an online website, but I feel like that just wasn't the best platform and I got a lot out of it, but at the same time, like all the videos that I downloaded have like disappeared and so I can't use it to practice and I don't have a conversation partner and just it wasn't the best way for me to be learning and so I'm glad that I'm learning the way I am now. I don't have a conversation partner just yet and so if anybody knows ASL and wants to like work with me I'd be so happy about that um or if you have a class a community class that you've been joining or a part of and it's in the area in the metro Detroit area then that would be really cool I would love to go to that class with you or go separate from you and you just recommend it or whatever but um it has been so much fun and I don't know if I'm just excited because I'm pretty quick with picking up language or because I like the movement of being able to like talk with my hands like I don't know why that's so deeply interesting to me but I'm learning sign language you guys and eventually I'm gonna be pretty fluent and I don't know what I'm gonna use it for but I'm sure God has a plan because he would not get me this excited about learning something that I'm not gonna use <laughs> um so I just wanted to put that out there but this is where I am right now I think I spend a lot of my day thinking and I just wanted to say it out loud <laughs> and now I can actually share this information with somebody and people will know, um, be a little more privy to what's going on in my life. And hopefully I can find an ASL class or like some people or something. I've been watching videos, um, they're on YouTube and, um, the teacher, his, he's actually an ASL teacher. I think there's a class in the video or like there's, he's teaching a class during the video and he's just recording him teaching. It's him and a student. He does a sign. They do the sign. And the, the words are displayed on a screen behind him. And if he needs to say anything out loud or needs to say anything that um, he can't sign because they're still learning sign, he'll type it on the screen and say, do this, use that, you know, little tips and tricks and things like that because he's deaf. Like, I don't know how to do that if I'm not using my right hand. Um, he's deaf um, slash like hard of hearing. But um, he's a great teacher. He's like super funny and that still comes across because body language and facial expressions, but it's completely silent. And so it's kind of like the immersion of like, you have to pay attention to the signs. You have to um, learn and understand the signs, which I really appreciate a lot. I don't want a video where somebody's talking and talking and talking to me um, using, you know, speech, using their voice. I'm trying to learn, you know, how to use my hands to communicate. But anyway, um, I just wanted to put that out there. So... Much love, y'all. Stay motivated.